Uh, today we have a, just a quick spotlight session with Josie and Kate who are from the squad. They are based in Ireland in Cork. There they are. Um, I've had the loveliest of pleasures being their customer success manager. So I'm really delighted that I can get get to share um, Josie and Kate we're with, we're with you guys because um, not only are they have they a phenomenal um, uh, social media presence, so I definitely recommend giving them uh, a follow on Instagram. They definitely keep me motivated. I would 100% uh, just uh, try and learn as much as possible because not only have they, you know, survived this really, really difficult time, but they've um, thrived throughout it. So I think maybe before, because obviously we want to hear as much from much as possible from you, um, Josie and Kate, uh, you know, maybe give us a quick intro as to, you know, who you are, how you got into, you know, fitness and everything. And, um, and yeah, and we'll kind of take it away from there. We were still muted and we were, we were so worried. Them. We were devastated. <laughs> <laughs> we're every, time, every time we Zoom call you, it is just one issue after the next. Sorry, Neil. Thanks for introducing us, Neil, and for and giving us this time to spotlight. Um, so, like we were introduced, we are the squad. Um, so our gym is in Cork in Ireland. So I know obviously there's a lot of you guys that are that are not in Cork or Ireland. So that is where we are based. Um, we were originally a personal training center. And then when we decided to, that our center was too small, we decided to open up a gym and that's when we started using Glowbox. So we are here in this unit for the last 19 months or yeah. so. But yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. And I guess, um, you know, we, we, we've been in touch for the past couple of months and obviously, you know, lockdown and COVID through, you know, so many people within this industry. But you guys have really, you know, found a, a, a great way to kind of come out of that, you know, thriving. So I guess, what was it, you know, what what was it the main kind of, you know, goal to try and keep, to, to, to keep that business continuity going throughout it? And I guess, how did you manage to keep that going throughout the lockdown period? I suppose our main goal was to keep our community together. Yeah. We didn't want, we have such a strong vibe in here and all our members I suppose rely on us and they rely on each mm -hmm. other that our main goal throughout lockdown was keeping people together and people yeah. people focused on their goal of a fitness but b it was so isolating yeah. being at home by yourself so we wanted them to feel that even though they were at home that they were still part of the squad mm -hmm. um yeah obviously people's yeah. mental health were going to take a massive hit if they're in isolation and not seeing that many people and then we all know that exercise contributes to Good mental health and whatever else so we we were really on top of that we're kind of needy as well Neil. so we like to be on top of all of our all of our clients all of the them. time so we miss them just as much as they miss us so yeah I suppose with, with regards to sending like messages and having online classes having all types of home bundles being constant on social media sending out weekly emails just with random stuff about our own lives sending out like nutrition plans and um, all random things we like even sent out like cocktail making videos like everything that would just kind of keep people more interactive and keep people like healthy together. and happy and home yeah. and, and together is yeah exactly yeah no that's brilliant and with that i guess because you know you, you touched on there that 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 you did initially set up as like personal training and then you kind of branched into that actual kind of class and um, uh, set up i mean was it difficult uh, to to transition that into more like a virtual kind of management you know whenever lockdown did happen I guess how did how, how did you manage you know you probably would have had that experience and that one-to-one -one type of communication from your personal training but for those people that would have been more dedicated more kind of committed to the classes how, how did you manage to kind of still keep engaging with them I think we I suppose obviously we use Zoom like the rest of the world and yeah. um, with the <laughs> chairs so we use Zoom and I suppose we encourage people a to keep their cameras on yeah because if you see people interacting if you see people's faces if you see people's living rooms you're going to feel like you're part that that you're almost in the same building right. myself and joanna were really hands-on in that we always logged in to our own respective living rooms we would name people we would talk to people by name we would ask them how they are if we saw a dog in the background we'd be like oh um Niamh, tell me about your dog yeah. yeah but all the while they're training together and i think that that sort of personal touch is what kept people engaged in the class. Mm -hmm. Plus, our classes are brilliant. So, like, obviously, they were enjoying just the exercise of it and yeah. feeling part of it. But I think we were were very hands on. So, oh, like, like, to a point where we were making Spotify playlists and sending them out to everybody and getting everybody to start them at the same track at the same time, so we we're all on the same vibe with our music. That is we, massive commitment. Yeah, it is. But you know what? We first one time, so <laughs> we actually we were grand to be doing it. So you know, it's nice to, that everybody then felt like they were in the same space. And like myself and Kate, fully isolated from each other as well. So we had yeah. spent 
also that 11 weeks yeah. not insane so it was easy for us to log in from two different computers so we were also in different places yeah. um, so I think when they saw that as well they yeah, like, oh, no. it really was the only way that we had communication was all through the yeah. screens yeah and I think you touched on something there Kit which I think was really poignant where you know you said that even though everybody was working you know or working out individually in their own living rooms these were still all working out together which I think yeah. that is such a testament to even how you kind of uh, saw your online classes and how the I guess the the, the mindset that that, that 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 you both took onto the kind of these online classes. Yeah. So yeah. I guess now as we transition out of that, you know, thankfully, um, we you know we haven't seen I guess or haven't heard of much of a of a second wave coming uh, just yet, which is really, really good. Which is really, really good. How are you finding it with things like since you've reopened? You know, how, was 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 that transition really difficult for you guys, or you know, how, how has that been since? Um, difficult, no, but like adapting is hard to anything. So I think that that's right. kind of our, like the main thing that we were trying to get across for the whole lockdown is like adapting into anything new is difficult. So ch them changing from on-site classes to online classes and now back to on-site classes. I mean, the changeover is obviously it's different, but sure. um, like our class, like we've very much maintained online presence as well as on-site now, which is great. So like we can take lesser numbers in the gym, so lesser people come in here, but we have an on-site online class so if there's a class going on in the gym it's also going on on online at the same time so then people at home who are apprehensive about coming back to the gym or who can't make it in they're equally in the same class area then only just yeah. through three yeah. so it's the same it's the same thing really only that we're in here as well yeah. so yeah. adapting back was actually quite okay we're, yeah. we're quite good to adapt to things like we had like we were only shut down on the 14th of um, March and like we were we kind of let people have a week and we didn't hammer the you know let's do this at home let's do this at home we just kind of let people have a week and we kept sending messages to our clients saying take the week it's totally new to everybody like we're in lockdown we don't know what's happening take the week and then on the 27th of March we had our, our first class and then it was just constant snowballed, then it yeah. just snowballed then yeah that's absolutely brilliant and I mean I think like snowballing like that's absolutely you know it's great to hear and, and it just shows that, that like, and it, absolutely in such a positive way and you know and, and on that note I guess where where do you see you know the squad going you know in a couple of weeks in a couple of months next six twelve months you know I, I know I, I guess if somebody asked you asked you that question in January you would have given a very different answer I know we how certain that. things go but I suppose it actually gave us really good perspective as well as to what where we actually wanted the gym to go having the time off and then I suppose really realizing that we have so many different avenues and mm -hmm. so many different things have opened up for us because of being on lockdown because we were on social all the time because we were keeping our community together that we've actually almost completely changed what we want mm -hmm. to do That's because amazing. of it yeah, yeah and, and I guess how, how has that changed because but that's really really interesting I've never I ha haven't heard of that before so I guess how 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 has that changed I guess of what you thought the development of the squad looked like to now what it potentially will look like are we now giving you our secrets <laughs> firstly firstly I think for me what I realized is that I used to always be of the idea that if somebody wants to exercise and go to the gym, they'll go to the gym and they'll exercise. Right. But what I learned over lockdown is it's really not easy for people who are maybe carers, you know, single parents, maybe have an elderly person at home that they're looking after. Maybe they, there's something, they have some sort of a disability that stops them from going to the gym. So there's a whole group of people at home who yeah. are isolated and who you can actually target through your screen and involve them in fitness, which yeah. is, so important like fitness is not just for people who have time and people who are healthy it's for everybody so I think that was a huge eye-opener that okay you could be at home caring for somebody full-time and not be able to leave your home yeah but look you could be part of the squad mm -hmm. because all you need is zoom and an internet you know yeah. um, and I think that was a lovely way of reaching people that might have feel, felt isolated that now we can be like be part of the squad mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and now you can tell her our secret <laughs> really? yeah so I suppose maintaining online is absolutely in our future now and that was something yeah. that we didn't really think that was like actually to be honest when when we had a meeting like a week before this is totally giving you a secret <laughs> a week before we shut down uh, we had a meeting and it was like what do you want to do if if they shut down like if you have to go in lock to lockdown we were like well we're not going to be at home like dancing around your living rooms doing air squats like and then as it turns out that's exactly mm -hmm. what we were doing yeah and so i suppose it's after maybe taking that side of things away from us and now we, that is what we want to do we do want to maintain a much more online presence so i suppose since we came back to work we've taken a step back from the actual floor to focus on 
the online stuff and it's right. going really really well for us and it's all obviously down to like social media down to the, the use of our app mm-hmm. obviously it's down, <laughs> it's down to using zoom it's just down to like keeping that online presence so that is kind of where we're going with our yeah. um with our future at the moment so like in the next like week or so we have our website launching and that is kind of like step one of where our end goal will be for this year is is having an online presence through our website so we've been yeah. very busy since we came back with regards to that stuff and i think having the pandemic had helped us kind of realize that that is an avenue that we want to go down and actually gave us the time to do it because other than that we had spent 60 plus hours a week on the floor yeah yeah, no, that's that, that's so good. And I think that that adoption of the hybrid schedule, you know, is, is definitely the way to go. And I think it's something that we're definitely, you know, recommending many of our of our customers who can jump into that to definitely do that. So yeah. I think um, so with that, uh, I know uh, Josie and Kate that we could probably keep on talking for hours. Now, Absolutely, but, yeah. <laughs> but there is so much more kind of um, other topic that, that we would love to cover. And um, yeah, I just... Thank you so much, guys, for, um, for, for joining us. We really, really appreciate it. And yeah, I hope everyone else enjoyed.